Yeah, why we have some meat NG? We got a new map, uh, as usual. This one's a racetrack, though, so... I also have kind of like a companion track to it. They were both made by the same people. It's uh, Yotak and Dikach, I guess. I don't know how to pronounce their names. You got some crazy-ass names, you guys. Uh, but yeah, it's made by those two. It's a, it's, a it's a real track in Japan. And original mesh is by that guy. Conversion by those two. And I think it's... A port from R Factor, which is it makes it is it legal? Maybe, or this track might be illegal. Either way, when I downloaded it on the forums on uh, October something, it was still there, and it was posted three weeks ago. So I'm assuming it's okay with the people. I don't know, but anyway, so this is it. Uh, I you spawn with a truck just by default in the game. So I'm like, hey, so we're in a truck. We could go ahead and hit this, but that's really not the point here. The point is to go on the racetrack. So we're gonna get a car that would uh, go on a racetrack more, like kind of. Well, not that one. That's, uh, I mean, if I had to choose, and I guess the Moonhawk would be decent for this. I mean, it's it's not great, but it'll work. Let's uh let's mess with the all this stuff. Put sport kind of stuff on it. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. It might already be heavy duty for all I can tell. Uh, we'll leave those. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah, hubcaps. Every time I pick something, it resets. That's annoying. Uh, limited slip, yeah, get the limited slip, otherwise I'll just crash everywhere. Heavy duty, you know, just make this thing, uh, something usable. Do I have to have drum brakes? I have to have drum brakes, great. Alright, that should, uh, the supercharged on. Good to go. So like I said, this is a less than ideal car for this. It'll work. put it in manual mode just because it's a racetrack so you kind of well that's not even really a racetrack it's more of a well known for drift track as far as I know that's from American perspective you know now drifting in this game I have not done it often so I couldn't probably do it even if I try well that could have been worse I was afraid to continue through because I thought I was going to understeer too hard, but it wasn't bad. And it's not like this car has that much power, you know? You kind of have to hold that momentum, which is what good drifters do, a.k.a. not me. Uh-oh. That's not good. I will just reset. Hey, is that a, uh, what's over there? I'm just gonna go take a peek. Like some secret road. Oh god. Oh god. Will this thing even fit? Well, it'll fit like that. I'm stuck. Dumb ass. You know, there's a better solution to trying to drive through this. It's going around it. But I'm going to try driving through it one more time. Oh my god, I just ripped my whole door off. At like three miles an hour. Alright, I'll just... Oh, shot. Oh my god, my hubcap. And we're stuck again. Okay, those things are kind of a bitch. I want to explore real quick, even though I want to be racing at the same time. I don't know what to do. There we go. Let's go see what's over here, because I'm curious. Lots of trees. Oh, this might be where the uh, kind of other half of the track kind of takes place, sort of. But it's not detailed. Interesting. I think that's what it is. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. What the hell did I just do? I just did like a backflip. Now we're gonna crunch. Alright. Enough of that. Let's go back to the real track. And I think that's the second part of the track, though. And by that, if you remember when I was saying there's these two maps, did I say there was two maps? I think I showed that. But yeah, that's probably where the other one kind of actually is. And I was trying to cut across the track that did not work, so we'll just go around it legitimately. So how about this? I'll try to drive aggressively, but expect spinouts. Oh god. Hey, that's alright. It could have been a hell of a lot worse. That was a weird drift, it left, or like a weird feeling thing. It left no tire marks, but it felt like I was drifting. I don't know what's up with that. And that's that track, actually. I pretty much did it already, but whatever. We just did it again. At least the outer circle. There's that inner area here. Although I'm not sure how this would actually be used. In real life, it is here. idea what this thing is, right? You know, I'm trying my best to not spin out, but, you know, I suck at driving. So let's go ahead and spin out, sort of. I was just trying to make a turn around. Hit the jump. I don't know why this is here, but I'll hit it every time. There's also people, but they're rock solid. Like, if you Hit them, it's bad news, see? Yeah, don't hit the people. Yeah, this game could use a uh, a good rear-wheel drive import car. You know? They got the uh, Honda Civic clone. Now they need the, the you know, the generic uh, 80s wedge drift car clone, like a 240SX, um, RX-7, Good wedge shape. Uh oh. AE eighty six though, you know all those good ones. Again, this is a uh, uh oh. Uh, I was wondering if you could knock it over. Nope. You can get stuck on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Uh, Back over there real quick, actually. Too reckless right there, man. Whoa, camera. Calm down. Alright, so here's another area. Just basically... Do whatever you want in here. Right through the grass because I can't drive. Right up the hill because I can't drive.
right down the hill because well, that was intentional, actually. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the other one. Exit the main menu. Yes. So like I said, there's two sections to the track, basically, as far as I'm concerned. Like, it's like two sections to the same map, I should say. Not necessarily track, but the same map. So here we are. Get a... Since last time, we used the, uh... What you call it? Let's see. We'll do the Savetta. And we'll crash and die, probably, but it's okay. Because this one's harder to control. Wow, that was fast. Eh, yeah, still running. Keep at it. Oh, one thing I noticed, it's in, uh, automatic. Gotta fix that. There we go. Whoop. Wow, this would be, uh, like a real good course to actually try to race on. Like, I've never actually had this course in any game that I've played in ever. And this is like one hell of a, like, it'd be like one hell of a course for like what I kind of like. This really tight technical shit. That, this would be one of them, like, crazy ones. I like that. For this game, it is not the best game for trying to go fast. Unless you have a steering wheel, I feel. Or maybe it wouldn't even work with a steering wheel, I don't know. But with an Xbox controller, I just feel like I'm lacking in control. And I don't have a steering wheel to test it, so. Good news is, I haven't wrecked the car yet. Even though I crashed it, I haven't wrecked it. Alright, so you all saw that other route looking area. Let's go see that is. Well. Oh man, I knew I was going to blow it there. I just knew it the second I started sliding right there. I was like, this is bad. Uh oh. We're good. We're good. Oh, maybe not. Nope, we're good still. And yeah, that's where that goes. Okay. Okay, I suck at driving. Can I blame the damage to the car? No, I can't. Back up for a sec. You kind of see where the map ends right there. Just looking through the trees, not necessarily trying to exploit or anything. There needs to be a skybox, that's all. Put some blue there and it'd be alright. The white, it's kind of glaring. Anyhow. green maybe for foliage I don't know I had a mapper I just noticed the white was kind of glaring through those trees to me maybe it's just me you know who knows oh god that's busted so back to the start what else is over here anything over here no nothing over here I think pretty much the only thing over here is the way I was. Got a nice little place to do donuts. As long as you don't crash before you do on me. And donuts. Yep, you can do donuts here. Confirmed. Hit it, and we're stuck. All right, great. 
Uh, let's just, uh, I don't know. Let's run that course backwards, and then we'll be done. Maybe I was running it backwards the whole time. Let's run it forwards, then, if that's the case. I mean, for me, though, in this game, just racing is... Like, I, I suck at crawling, but crawling seems more appealing for the, the this game than racing. I mean, I don't know. Like, if it had, uh, well... Now, if they put in an economy system where you had to repair what, what, what parts were damaged, you had to actually make choices on the matter, and you're bringing in a car that's with beat-up fenders and stuff, like, basically, um... Oh, goodness, what's the game? Red Line, Legal Street Racing... Uh, basically put that put that system into the game. Holy shit, best racing game ever. Cause even today, Redline's crazy ass system where you have each part individually being repaired and shit. That's unparalleled in any game that I've seen. The option to be like, I don't need this fucking shit. And then you have like a leaning suspension to the left, and oh my god. I mean, they, but uh, I don't even know. Like from a uh, developer's standpoint. If there's any real function to save the damage from cars, even. I mean, that would have to be. Uh, there'd be a lot to add, is what I'm getting at. A lot to add, but it would be cool. It would make it a legitimate, like, racing game that I'd play. Like, I don't like really a lot of games. It's like, here, have this race car, go race it. No economy, and just go race it. So, this is boring. Oh, we should do interior view. God damn it. I'm not even shifting 90% of the time. That's the interesting thing. I'm just holding the gear I'm in. Oh. Oh. There's a tree in my car. Uh oh. Man, I was doing good at the start. What happened? Come on. Go left. I mean, go right. Screw it. Go right. I changed my mind at the last second. I said go left, and then I changed my mind after I said that even. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Could work worse. Hey, what's that? There's a tree in this road. Let me go at it in normal orientation. It almost seems like the developers forgot it was there because it's a tree right in the middle of the road. Can't see shit. There is trees all up in this road. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, but I want to... I'll ride it out till the end of both the road and the video. Is that it? Oh man, there's there's too many trees. Whoa, that's a cliff. Doesn't seem like it goes very far. Look at that. That's Jesus. I never realized you could zoom out so much. You could get like a like a great aerial view for like racetracks. That's that's awesome to have. Like you just zoom out a ton. You got this beautiful aerial view. You get a great over. Shit! If there was a hotkey to pop in between this and this, see instead of zooming in all the way, you could use that as a mini map almost. Shit, that's cool. Like how? I'm curious now. How well could you see the car if it was right in the middle of the road and you're? Trying to drive it like it's like a Hot Wheels game or something. So like if you go. Oh god. See now, here's another idea. If they could lock the camera to be th like zoomed out that much. That could make a cool game mode. Like you have a racing mode. Where you have the camera locked. Like to ridiculous. Like it's. 
It's a ridiculous height, so you have to race like this. That'd be cool. I think it'd be cool. Like, just do unique things with this game. It's one of the games where they... It's not set in stone what they could do, so I would think... Make it like a mini game game, almost. Have as much cool shit as you can. Do shit like this. I, that'd be fun. Trying to race like this. I mean, truth be told, it's much harder to control like this. But... It probably would be like that for everybody until they get used to it. Hell, you charge having a car like this in a game with physics like this. Not easy. Because it's hard to, when you're at this view, feel when the car is sliding more, so. Like, well, it's only obvious it's sliding when it's too late. But that's cool. Alright, um. I think that'll do it, so. Until next time, this is my BR. I'll see ya.